Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing. Today I will show you how you can set up from your browser, laptop or PC this Wi-Fi range extender from TP-Link. I have made a video how you can set up from your smartphone and testing the internet speed. You can check that video after the end of this video or down below at the description. Welcome to TP-Link RE505X. For security please create a login password for management. Start. Scanning the networks. Select a 2.4 GHz host network to extend. Enter the Wi Fi password. Select a 5 GHz host network to extend. Enter the password. Next. Correct. Confirm. You can rename the Wi-Fi for the 2.4 and the 5 GHz, but you can't uh, change the password. I will show you later how you can do that with the access point mode. Next. To do all this process, you need to connect directly your uh, repeater to your laptop through the Ethernet port or to your PC. And then you can follow this uh, address and start the setup as am I doing right now. Relocate your extender to optimize Wi Fi coverage and performance. Done. I have connected to the extended network. After finishing the setup, you need to unplug the Ethernet cable, because now it is a Wi-Fi repeater. Finish. And again login. Need TP-Link account service? You can add your TP-Link account and then you will have access anywhere at any time from the Tether app or from your PC. Now we can see the host network the SSID, the signal, MAC address, the same for the 5 GHz, the extender, SSID again, the channel, MAC address, and clients. Only one client right now. Later I will connect uh, all my devices uh, at this uh, extender and we can check the clients. Wireless, connect to network. This is the host network. You can disable the 2.4, the 5, rename. Even change the password for the host network. Okay, no security. Choose the security encryption. Save. Save it. So that it doesn't matter because uh, you can have access to your host network. Uh, I don't know why you can change that. You can... Uh, yeah, I know. Wireless scan, you can uh, scan again and uh, add the new network. You can choose again your new uh, 2.4 host network or the 5 year hertz. Extended network. Unfortunately, here you cannot. Uh, Change the password, only the name, copy the host SSID, enable disable, hide the SSID, and save. The same for the 5 GHz. Network. Obtain an IP address automatically recommended. Use the following IP address. DHCP, auto, on, off, and save. DHCP client list, only me right now. Advanced settings, power schedule, you can add, adjust from to, choose the days of the week and save. And you can delete Wi Fi coverage, you can choose maximum or the second or minimum. Maximum, of course, and save. Access control, enable, disable. Blacklist, whitelist, save, refresh, block, device in blacklist, you can add.
you can do so many adjustments. High speed, auto recommended. The extender will automatically choose the best band to ensure high performance, super fast connections. Manual, then you can choose uh, transmitting only the 2.4 GHz band from the router, 5 GHz, range extender, then transmitting the 2.4. Or you can choose the 5 GHz, router, 2.4 GHz, range extender, and then 5 GHz to the client and save. Auto recommended and save. System tools, time settings, enable daylight saving if you want, choose the time zone, LED control, disable, enable, enable the light mode, from to firmware upgrade, check for upgrade, or you can just download the firmware update and choose and then start the upgrade. Backup and restore. You can backup, restore, factory, default restore, admin account, change the password, system log. One mess. Join the one mess. One mess is disabled or not supported on the host router. Okay. TP-Link Cloud. And there you can add your TP-Link account. And then you can uh, adjust uh, all the settings and the options wherever and whenever you want. You don't have to be at the same network at your home. You can change the mode, access point, repeater. Right now it is repeater. Log out, you can reboot, you can choose uh, other languages, you can start the quick setup again. Now let's change to access point. That means I need to connect my uh, router through the Ethernet uh, cable at my repeater. Transforms your existing wired network to a wireless network and save. Changing the operating mode will reboot the device. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now, after finishing the setup, go to your main router settings and find the IP address uh, from the repeater and add, add your browser, tap enter, and then you need to connect with the TP-Link ID. I have bind the account with the TP-Link ID and login. So we have the access point, DHCP server auto, IP address, that is the IP address, enter add your browser, and then you can adjust all the settings at the repeater. And of course you can choose again language, your account, change the mode, reboot, connected internet, access point 2.4, SSID, channel, mode, channel, width, and MAC, 5, the same. Wireless, wireless settings, and now you can adjust all the settings for your Wi-Fi network. Rename the SSID, hide if you want, the security, change, version, auto, whatever you want, encryption, the password, mode, channel width, auto 20, 40 megahertz, and channel auto to, from 1 to 13. And the same for the 5 gigahertz. Here we have uh, more security modes. Channel width, it is auto 20, 40, and 80 megahertz. And the channel auto from 36 to 140 and save. And of course you can disable, enable the wireless radio. And save. WPS, 
Here's the pin you can generate, enable, disable the WPS, push button, recommend it, pin, network, and again uh, obtain an IP address automatically. Use the following IP address DHCP server auto on off auto and the DHCP client list. You can refresh. Advanced settings, power schedule. You can add, adjust uh, from to, choose the days of the week, delete, Wi-Fi coverage, and again you can choose. More or less is the same settings, but you can change the password. <laughs> okay, and you have uh, the option to change uh, the channel from your Wi-Fi signal. Access control, enable, disable, one client. System tools, time settings again, LED control, firmware upgrade, backup and restore, system logs, TP Link Cloud, and here I have my account. So now let's go at the wireless and rename my Wi Fi network. So I can connect all my devices from my home at this repeater. And now at the wireless clients, there are all my clients. <laughs> 32 at this time. Advanced settings, access control. And here I have all my online devices. ID, device name, IP address, MAC address, connection type, modify, refresh, block. Let's block these two. And there it is. Modify, device name, MAC address, cannot access at any time. And I can choose the hour and the minute. Day, every day. Weekday, weekend, custom, save. That was all. Or I can delete. Back again online. The same thing you can do if you are using uh, as a repeater this device, not only on access mode. Status. Well, my viewers, that was the setup from your browser. The process is very easy. Choose the repeater mode or the access point mode. It is your choice how you want to use uh, this uh, TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi extender. On my video that I made set up from the smartphone and testing the internet speed, you will find important information. So don't miss that video. It is right in the corner. You can check right now. Until my next video, don't forget to subscribe, share this video and hit the notification bell. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.